So as I'm talking, I feel cops in my gut. I don't know why I have this, this ability to feel them near, but I do. And uh, lawless global movement made from terrorizing my life for more than 13 years after surviving police brutality from racist cops that tried to kill me for risking my life for my black ex-boyfriend after reporting Davis Police's felon family that were my neighbors, the Ponces, related to racist P.D. Figueroa, who beat a black man in Sacramento. I moved to Pinecrest after I had been raped in my apartment from my manager's relative. My apartment had been um, almost broken into. My door was severed on one occasion. On another occasion, two guys tried to break in after I was raped. And on another occasion, I was harassed and told that um, that they were going to try to shoot me. And uh, when I say they, I'm talking about uh, neighbors. Um, officer Penrose was the investigating officer who told me I had 10 years to file a report and told me to move and relocate, uh, residing in head housing. I did not have that opportunity to relocate because that's the nature of HUD housing is that you can't afford the expensive rent so you live in government housing. I relocated as soon as I could and it was later that year and uh, I moved to Pinecrest, which is where I was relocated to, next door to neighbors that were the same riffraff caliber as my Anderson apartment neighbors. They were drug addicts, did prostitution. They were affiliated with gangs. And some of them were Nazi skinheads. Before I was brutalized from cops, there was a Jewish man beaten in his apartment with a bat and another woman raped in her apartment. As I pleaded with cops the entire time I lived there to make my apartment safe, and they refused to do it. And I later found that they were related to my neighbors, that they were always covering Sandy Blades, Manny and Cherie Peltier, related to P.D. Zuniga, whom um, is related to felon child rapist Ron Herrera on Davis Megan's Law, whom is related to Jennifer Herrera, whom raped a teenager in 2012 and was reported on social media from a Valerie um, who was said to be Jennifer Herrera's best friend and Eric Herrera. Uh, I know them. I grew up with them. Those that I speak of, they are not uh, people that I don't know. A legislative clerk has recently filed a restraining order against me because her family was drug trafficking with my neighbors related to the Ponces, uh, related to the Figueroas, racist P.D. Anthony Figueroa who beat a black man in Sacramento, and the Compos, 
that uh, killed a Jewish woman and a black teen, Enrique and Jesus Campos, and their family did drugs with this legislative clerk that I will not say the name of, whom I used to be friends with many, many years ago. And um, so the allegations that I make against this clerk are not unfounded. They are not bogus and random. They are allegations of somebody that is concerned in my community, somebody that has been a lawful whistleblower against child abuses and against rape crimes and against murder crimes and gangbang crimes and, uh, and MKUltra and the legal spy breach. which is where they made the Lawless Global Movement team game from that has spanned more than 13 years. From an illegal experiment that was made to violate my equal protection of rights. But I'll get to that later. I had my court hearing today. These crimes have spanned, like I said, for more than 13 years. I am a survivor of rape in my apartment in 2005, which opened a Pandora's box for me of being a survivor of child rape, incest rape, from my sister that I reported, whose lesbian daughter is Nicole Herrera, and Nicole Herrera's friends were my neighbors. And they have felonies. Felons. So, when Nicole's felon friends have been haters of me for years, and have cop family that currently the brotherhood of the UCD PD areas who stalk me downtown off campus to harass me and obstruct justice by obstructing traffic yeah, the real obstruction of justice is when uh, abuse of power violates human rights, taxpayers' money going to waste. So when they hire UCDPD Arius' relative, in the MLB and other cops, families in the NFL from my local area and a slew of draft, sports drafts of 49ers and Raiders at UC Davis, unprecedented from a lawless global movement game from terrorizing me. What do you do about that? Oh, I know. You punish me because I'm the whistleblower. You re-victimize me because that's the only way that makes sense is to torment me, punish me, re-victimize me because then it'll bring you closer to thinking that you're silencing me. That's not true. Do you know how much I've endured all these years? Rape, incest rape, NFL abuse, police brutality, conspiracies, unfounded, hate crimes, 
San Francisco Giants sang flawlessly in 1998. My sophisticated MK Ultra. And yeah, I'm not a child abuser. But Gina Denise Pickett Prince is. And who is Nicole's girlfriend? A woman named Denise? Yeah. That's whack. And who are Nicole's friends? Haters and liars that do voodoo and cover Gina? And how many videos do I have on my social media page verifying that Gina is a felon child fingers rapist? That Ron Herrera is on Megan's Law related to P.D. Zuniga? That Gina's been reported to Megan's Law? That uh, Ron Herrera has no relation to uh, my Herrera relatives, Nicole. And yet, Nicole's friends that are felons chase me in the room of the brick wall metaphor because they make me a refugee. How do they do that? I don't know. Maybe we should ask Assam Minaj, Cam Country, John Party, Despacito writers, Greta Gerwig, Black Panther director, all from Davis and NorCal, from a lawless global movement game made from terrorizing me. Oh yes, and my abusive ex is retired NFL Raider Lester Hayes, whom knew the racist cops that tried to kill me for risking my life for my black ex-boyfriend, Britton E. James. Yeah, Britton thought it was cool to befriend my enemies after I risked my life for him. Because that's what uh, no integrity having ballless bastards do. They say, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll be uh, spoiled from you and can fluff my pillows and, you know, take care of me and then risk your life for me from police brutality. Yeah, cops were after Britain, not me. I mean, sure, they wanted to retaliate against me and, and do it from terrorizing Brenton at that particular moment. But it's fascinating that um, right after that happened, He befriended my enemies, and we broke up. Man. See, the lawless global movement game is filled with liars and wickedness. A game that started way back then. In 2006 and 2007. It kind of solidified the game in 2008. I got documentaries of Lester Hayes and his abuses and recent hate crimes with his pervert geriatric assistant, Anita 4A Moonshadow, and 4A Moonshadow's girlfriend alumni Adele Noel and fascinating um, that such riffraff could sponsor St. Jude's no that's not what they really do that's not what Lester Hayes really does when he's signing autographs which is where I met him at a Walmart store signing autographs See, he gets paid from Miracle Network in St. Jude. He's a millionaire and gets paid from a charity that is supposed to be funding children that have cancer. Why are they paying celebrities and a slew of riffraff that don't need the money? Yeah. 
Because, see, celebrities believe in building their own empires. And part of building their own empires is to fill people's ideals about celebrities with falsehoods. Such as celebrities are good people and they love humanity and they're charitable. Not true. They're greedy monsters. They don't care what they do or what they have to do to get what they want and their end goal. Even if that means hurting people or worse. And then coming out looking like they are clean as the white driven snow. That's what they do. And everybody buys into their bullshit. And then with a game like the Lawless Global Movement, made from terrorizing me because I'm a lawful whistleblower against MK Ultra Voodoo, FCC TV Satellite Spy Breach, ELF Mind Control Radiation Towers, and a fucking dick in a caboose on F Street that likes to blow his horn. Now, why would he do that? Is he a fusion cop communicating with his riffraff so that they can try to play a game? A bunch of idiots that can't rap that want to chase after me because I can. Oh, and I sing? And they can't. Oh, but what they can do and shouldn't be able to do, oh, they gather in these little groups of teens and they all try to help each other get into studios and get into the NFL and the MLB and get into Celebrity Dome. Who's Hassan Minaj? That asshole ain't funny. And wasn't he a member of the Davis Islamic Racist Center Against Jews that went national for Jew-hating? And I'm multiracial DNA and Jewish DNA. Yeah. Oh, and I'm a straight American woman. I like to throw that in there, too, because I totally don't support Nicole and her gay-ass friends and all their hate crimes and a society that supports all of their hate crimes and all of my perpetrators. But wait, there's more. Remember the Figueroas? The Figueroas related to convicted murderers in Regain Jesus Campos that killed a Jewish woman and a black teen that uh, did drugs with a legislative clerk, legislative Rebus clerk's family, whom I am having to file a restraining order against because such clerk who is a felon and a child abuser, I won't elaborate on the details, but I did in my response to the court because I have such clerk in my ongoing lawsuits that I've been filing. And when I went to go call her place of work to report her crimes and report her stalking and spy breach and harassments, all of which I knew that the legislative branch knew of because the lawless global movement made from terrorizing me. And it was a strom uh, that said, oh, I hope you're recording this call. I'm like, bingo, totally. You know? When you are harassed and terrorized in a land that is no longer the United States, that is supposed to defend equal protection of rights for all colors of skin, and yet denies my rights, and I've never had a felony, and I've never had a 5150, and I can't get any advocacy. I document everything because I have to. And so when I'm being dismissed 
and told that I'm crazy even though I can prove everything that I have to say and then I post it on social media so that there's no confusion and then assholes go and say oh no she's crazy oh yeah she's gained weight so she couldn't have possibly dated a raider do you know who Winona Judd is? Winona Judd is a plus size country singer who married a pro footballer in the NFL. Winona was morbidly obese, pretty, but obese, and married an NFL footballer while fat and had his children. So that's just an example of the idiocy that, you know, though it is true, um, most guys are not trying to be chubby chasers. And I weighed a lot less when I met Lester Hayes and dated him and was having sex with him. The fact that the message that they are putting out there that women are only worth their pants size, their dress size, the size of their body is a wrong message to any female. So when they go out there and they try to pretend like they're humanitarians, all these celebrities, and oh, stigma for PTSD and, and anxiety issues, because, oh, that's right, of course, I also have PTSD. I also have SSDI for PTSD. Because fascinatingly, not only do I fight the world and am a litigant and have knowledge of law, and I file comprehensive lawsuits like an attorney. But I have PTSD for being a survivor of rape and incest rape and fell abuse from Lester Hayes, who was violent with me during sex. And he knew the racist cops that tried to kill me for risking my life for my black ex-boyfriend after I reported cops fell in families that were my druggy child abuser Neighbors, the Ponces, Figueroa's, Castro Garcia's, Miller's, Campbell's, Blades, Cherie Peltier. I was friends with Nicole and an LGTBQ Amanda Miller, whom they illegally gave my apartment to after me being brutalized from cops. Amanda Miller had a felony, was a drug, drug addict who had her child taken from her from CPS. And they gave her my HUD apartment. Because they would rather have felons in HUD apartments than squeaky wheels complaining about being raped and violated and harassed in their HUD apartment where they are entitled to the sanctity of safety and a healthy environment. Such healthy environment that's supposed to be supported from the very mission statement of police that are being paid from taxpayers' money. And yet, Williams versus California states, cops have no obligation to protect and serve. Magistrate Claire from my lawsuit 213, CV2, CV, 2653, where Magistrate Claire stated, we're martial law, and cops have no obligation to protect and serve, so I'm going to deny your color of law lawsuit and your emotional distress lawsuit against the police and your civil rights lawsuit against the police on a law of Williams versus California stating that cops have no obligation to protect and serve 
a law that was passed to protect cops who refused to protect children against gun school shootings. Isn't that fascinating? And yet, nobody anywhere will advocate for me. They'll advocate for BLM. Why? When Washington Post states that 63% of whites are being killed from police brutality and only 33% of blacks. But you don't hear about those stories. And the remaining percent are the other races, including multiracial. You don't hear about their stories. Because we are not living in a land that validates equal protection of rights. So much so that black skin says equal protection of rights only belongs to black skin. While pyramid worship has become the new law. Voodoo has replaced letter of law in the Constitution and criminal agenda codes of slander and terrorizing and re-victimizing people that have been terrorized and victimized only if they're a lawful whistleblower. So what next? So now I have to file a a restraining order. I filed a response. They haven't received it yet because I got a shitload of assholes that work at Kinko's and Davis that promote all the riffraff from Panera and UC Davis and all these little shitheads that want to be gamers, that want to be in bands and write and do all this shit. They want to chase after me. All these years, as I'm a singer, I'm a writer, I'm a poet, I'm an artist. Do you know that when I filed uh, my administrative claims and then I filed a document of a law proposal, Grace's No Taser Law, in 2008, and then I put it in with my artwork called Ezekiel's Veil, a civil rights art that I sent to the African American Smithsonian years ago. I am multiracial. And they said, yes, we'll accept your art. And you can have your art in here in 2016 when the grand opening. And we'll place it on hold like all the other artists that we're putting on hold. After I did that, Sacramento opened hundreds of art museums and allowed a slew of, you know, your gangbang-ish riffraff with all the tats tangled up their necks that love to do graffiti art. They just let them have the streets to make all their murals on the walls. And they opened up all these museums. Why would they do that? Why is that overt extravagance of making a bunch of art museums absurdly and then having murals on every friggin' wall in Sacramento? To take the attention away from me. That's how pathetic these assholes are. That's why they made the movement game. So that monsters could chase after me. And see how fast they could run in a marathon. And while some of them are running, some of them are dying. Smoke pop, Nipsey hustle. Countless. Really, I can't think of all their names right now, but many, 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 many. And uh, I think the global chaos 
that is war and rumors of war, where people are like, oh yeah, we're, we're headed to the end of the world. Why is it necessary? I tell you why, because they thought it would be a brilliant idea to end humanity. In the disguise, the disguise of a game called the Lawless Global Movement Team Game, made from hate crimes against me. So why they pretend to be humanitarians? They're making hate crimes against me. And they team up like on Good Day Sacramento and Hoda and Jenna. Didn't Jenna's father, George Bush, drown blacks in Hurricane Katrina and yet black people support Hoda and Jenna? That's fascinating. And isn't Good Day Sacramento media related to the Figueroa cops that are uh, racist? Anthony Figueroa, he beat a black man in Sacramento. And yet BLM gets their businesses supported and secretly they support cops. Because if they didn't, they would be rioting against UCD PD Arias' family getting signed to the MLB and a shitload of cops' family getting signed at NFL and, and all these other arenas of Celebrity Dome. They're all gamers and they're all liars. Isn't that fascinating? They support corrupt media and they support a corrupt game made from hate crimes against me that has annihilated equal protection of rights the very rights that they say are important you can't have equal protection of rights unless it's equally given to everybody do you understand that? We don't have a law. We don't have a United States anymore. They annihilated the Constitution for a team game made from hate crimes against me. Tanya Grace McDaniel versus the United States. Isn't that fascinating? New World Order. And yet they keep on playing games and they want to annihilate my freedom of speech with a restraining order that is bogus when I've never stalked or violently harassed a legislative clerk that I knew from many years ago who made 